being a black girl in America is truly something that you just can't find words to express it. It was really weird like after such a long quarantine like it was really different to be outside on like what the state of the world right now and like just all the things that are going on oh I don't have words I just feel like I don't know being a black girl in America is truly something that you just can't find words to express it's it's tough it's different it's you know I'm 26 and at this point I know that you know I'm not privileged and I'm not gonna have things brought to my feet or like I'm not going to be spoon fed or whatever but like seeing that they're killing innocent black men and just black people in general it makes me sad because you know I'm a mom and all I think about is or kids when I when I I think about things like this and it really breaks my heart and I the last couple of weeks I really have just been so the last like two weeks I really have just been so depressed because I'm thinking about it and I'm just like oh my gosh like this is somebody's child like a mother out there somewhere is, is this is affecting her just the way how it is affecting me and it just makes me really really sad and like I've been trying to like stay off of social media and like being back at work today that really helped because I don't have a, the long like amount of time to like be on social media or whatever and I really really love that because that really saves me and like my brain space but I've really just been so exhausted and so overwhelmed with the killings and the racism and just everything and I oh I just wanted to stop I just wanted to stop so bad. It's so, oh, being a black girl in America. Oh, wow. Wow, unbelievable. Anyways, you guys, um, stay safe, okay? If you're protesting, do it peacefully, especially if you're black, be careful. We don't need more black people dying on a lighter note you know because honestly we definitely need it right now so you guys are gonna see what i bought at target um yesterday and then i went to work today and you know it's nighttime i'm home i'm really just chilling because i'm off tomorrow so i popped something up on netflix and just started watching that just to unwind and like relax because when i go back to work i'm gonna work for three days straight and so um yeah hi guys um so today is a sunday and I'm not sure when you guys are going to be watching this, but it's either going to be a Monday, Wednesday, or a Friday. Okay. But today, I got some things from Target. And I'm super excited. So, I wanted to bake some things, but I also wanted to make sure that I'm getting containers that I could use for other things too. Other things like storing food. So, I got this pack. And this was for $20. So, love that. And I used the same day feature that Target has. So, I ordered this this morning and it just came. And right now, it's 1 o'clock. And what's funny is I was expecting to get a call like, Oh, hey, so your order is here. And that didn't really happen. Like, man's just showed up. And so, my neighbor knocked and was like, Hey, um, somebody's here. And that was him. All the way up the stairs here and everything. Which is perfectly fine because this bag was a little heavy. This is three, three pieces and they all have covers which is good for when I'm like meal prepping and I make like um, more than enough rice so I can store it inside of this and store it in the fridge so there's always food in the fridge. So love that. Let me prep y'all up a little bit more. So that's one thing. And then I got these other meal prep containers. This has two in there and these are three cups which is not bad i got two packs of this one because i'm transitioning from um plastic containers to all glass so we love i was really hoping that these are not broken and so far they are not so this is the second one and then i bought some um frosting i'm pretty sure this should be kept inside of the fridge damn it i don't think i like frosting i think i like icing Oh my god. And then I bought these. So this is this is a brownie mix. And this is like a cake mix. I really like um, chocolate cake. But I wanted to have like chocolate frosting or icing or whatever on top too. So I bought these. 
I don't know when I'm going to make them, but it's not going to be today. And then I bought Wesson's oil because I have a bottle already, like the bigger bottle. What is that, a gallon? Hold on. Yeah, so I have a gallon and I wanted to, it's like half or a little below half, but I didn't need a whole new gallon. So I just bought this smaller one to like pour inside of there and it's lit. So that's what I bought. Wait, what is this? Oh, you know, I saw this thing turn this way inside of the bottom and I guess I thought that it was just a like space holder or something, but this is... The room essentials, I really hope that these don't rust because I'd be very mad. What do you call these again? Knives and forks and spoons. <laughs> and this is a 20 piece, is it? Yes, 20 pieces. Because I don't know what the deal is, but I swear that knives, forks, and spoons get feet and just walk away after a certain time because ever so often like i'm looking for a decent sized spoon like that size and i literally cannot find any now they're on the thinner side which mm, i don't know how i really feel about that because these ones how does this feel in comparison to this one this one that i have feels slightly thicker i think i bought this on amazon too so maybe i should have just bought it on amazon and called it a day but this is what i bought so i'm gonna put these inside of the sink right now and like wash them up really quickly before i use them and then i think i'm gonna attempt to bake some chicken in the bigger one at the bottom never baked chicken before this is gonna be a process but i guess i'll figure it out and then i'm going to take out all of the plastic tupperware that i have underneath my um sink and throw those away because like I said, I'm cleaning out all the plastic stuff that I have and replacing them with glass. And this right here is enough because I already have some from before. So that's what I have going on right now. So I have these sweet potatoes here that I baked for my meal prep because I'm gonna be eating mostly sweet potatoes. Um, trying to cut out as much rice as I can. I'm gonna wash these right now. knocked out the first day of being back and at work and it was a shit show okay it was we can't even talk about it it was that stressful and like I'm so tired my 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 feet hurt like my toes feel like they were on top of each other like sausages in a goddamn can and it was no fun but luckily for me the manager gave me tomorrow off and that was not the initial schedule the initial schedule was so i'd work monday tuesday wednesday i'd be off thursday and friday and then i'd work saturday again but he changed it today which i'm grateful for because my feet were goddamn killing me but i find that you know once you come home and you sit down for like an hour or so then you feel so much better but guys today i took 13,891 steps okay and in distance that was six seven miles and this morning i got up early and i did my little workout and i was so worried because i'm like oh i don't think i'm gonna have the motivation to like get up and do it before and i did and it was fine like i was good so i love that and then um all right sorry relax and then i burnt 775 calories in total today and i feel so good and i know that like you don't want to drive yourself crazy watching the calories but I felt really good when I see that it's like going up and like seeing how much I walked today. That was really, really good for me. But I'm home and today I came home and this morning I almost ate breakfast. And I haven't really been eating until like 2 o'clock in the day. I've been intermittent fasting and so I love that. 
I was able to like keep the discipline today and like not eat until I ate at like two two o'clock I ate at two o'clock today after waking up at like eight o'clock and not eating anything at all I think I did really really good did I feel like I was starving no if I had to go another 30 minutes to an hour I think I could have until like three o'clock so I loved that too and um yeah that's what's up anyways if you guys made it to the end of the video thank you guys for watching i hope you guys enjoy the video and i'll see you guys in the next video